Greetings and welcome. Today we will be discussing the benefits and implications of building custom board level solutions on low cost configurable FPGA modules. My name is Roland S. Demko. I am the Western Regional Sales Manager of Acromag. I have been involved with the design and deployment of real-time systems for over 20 years. The implementation of custom board level solutions using COTS field programmable gate array modules has made a tremendous inroad into simplifying the design approach for what was once an arduous but necessary task and at the same time reducing development schedules. It's a great topic for today's competitive custom solutions development market and so without further delay Why all the talk about FPGA modules? First off, they are more and more commonly used to replace what hardware engineers would have painstakingly done with digital design, schematics, printed circuit board layout, building a first article, making corrections, and finally coming up with that unique custom hardware design. Secondly, since using a COTS or commercial off-the-shelf module eliminates most all of the hardware design effort, development schedules are condensed, exactly what program managers and design engineers want to hear. Third, FPGA modules are designed such that they interface to host computer systems and can offload intense and sometimes extreme tasks, leaving more time for the host CPU to do, well, what host CPUs are best at, displays, data storage, networking, and the like. Moreover, FPGA modules, being that they are modules, systems unto themselves, can perform a wide number of tasks independent of any host CPU interaction. Many applications, for instance, UAVs, utilize COTS FPGA modules as their sole source of control. Lastly, the logic that executes inside of an FPGA on an FPGA module can come from many sources. From the FPGA manufacturer, shareware, freeware, third-party ware, and your own ware. Logic stored and executing in an FPGA is called an intellectual property core, IP core for short. They can perform any function from data capture, a la UART, to data storage, to protocol conversion, to signal sampling for an A to D conversion, for instance, to high-speed interface logic, to motion control, and on and on. All this power, all this capability, can I afford it? FPGA modules are perhaps more complex than the traditional digital design since they are a system comprised of processing power, data storage, interfaces to onboard devices and to the external world via I.O. and bus architectures and protocols as are suited to host CPUs. The beauty is that it is not necessary to design an FPGA module of this type since many companies such as Acromag have already done this for you. In fact, you will find that FPGA modules are available in many familiar architecture and bus protocol architectures to meet deployment-ready applications in VME, Compact PCI, PCI, and Industry Pact. The applications. Are FPGAs right for less aggressive applications? Don't FPGA modules just cost too much? No longer are FPGA modules just for the high-end applications such as software-defined radios and high-speed, high-volume data reduction as might be found in radar and video image processing systems. A wide range of FPGA modules has been produced to make available the right amount of compute power at a reasonable price point. Let's take a look at the criteria by which we might categorize our FPGA module requirements.
So how would I determine what a suitable FPGA module might be for a particular application? First, let's look at complexity. Complexity is best defined by the amount of logic that might be required to properly implement the application. Here we can see that we might choose an Altera Cyclone for the more simple application, and at the very high end, the Vertex 4 or Vertex 5 might be the more appropriate computational vehicle. Next, speed. FPGAs execute logic at different rates of speed. For less demanding applications, the Altera Cyclone or Xilinx Spartan may be the appropriate choice. As application speed becomes more critical, our selection would move to a Vertex 4 FPGA at 500 MHz or even a Vertex 5 FPGA at 